Israeli press. Do you believe that? This is from Israel. Israel. Okay. 50th anniversary of Beggar's Banquet. And who is this again? The Rolling Stones. Look at this. But this was the original cover. This is the cover that got banned. It's with the toilet. With the toilet? Why did it get banned? Because it got banned. See? That was, uh, they, they said that was against the law. To have a toilet? Yeah. And then you got this one. Ooh, that looks like bleed. a birthday cake. Yeah, that is it. This is uh, Let It Bleed. This one got the poster. It's the original stereo. Poster and inner sleeve. See how clean it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long you been collecting trying to get all of the Rolling Stone records? Since the 90s. Here you go, this one. This is a mono. Look at the cover. Clean copy. What year they came Between out? the buttons. This is... 69. And then this one here, Sticky Fingers with the real zipper. I got that in there. So oh, damn, spell. that's pretty neat. You never saw that with the mm -mm. zipper? The zipper worked too. <laughs> See the zipper on it? The yeah. zipper worked. Mm. You know, I had that. I got two Exile on Main Street. This is an original promo with the. Uh, with the insert, with the, what you call it, with the um, postcards. And you then, ever you mailed yeah. off any other postcards? No. You're not supposed to. No. <laughs> and then here go the, look, here go the, uh, this is a reissue. Wait a minute, a that's the ago. same record. Yeah, but this is cut. This is Half Speed Masters from Avril Studios. This is a good pressing. It's digital, though. That's um, analog, it's digital. Digital meaning? Yeah, it's a digital. They copied it digital. Oh. Ghost Head Soup. Mm. That's from this German press. That's a German press. And then it's only rock and roll. That's only the, rock and roll. That's the last album that Mick Taylor played on. Black Damn. and blue. Ooh, they were young. Black and blue. And then I got one more. I can always forget about grabbing this one. This is a Mo5 pressing. Here you go. Of your favorite album. That's with Brown Sugar? This is the one with Miss You. See yeah. this? Mm-hmm. This is the Mo5. This one goes for a lot. What's the trick with that? This is the difference on this one. See the, uh, you can change the, the thing, see? Look at oh, that. damn. You didn't know that, did you? Nope, that's pretty cool. This the one with your song. Oh yeah, I forgot about this song. Which album has Brown Sugar? That was Sticky brown Fingers. Sugar. That's Sticky Fingers. Like that the song. one with the zipper. Mm. So that's one. It took me years to find out. It's a good price. Yeah. What was the year we went to see them? And it's uh two thousand. I think it was two thousand and three, I think it was. The forty no, it's 2003, 2004, because it's the 40th anniversary. 40 licks, that's what they meant. 40th anniversary. Oh, that was there a big concert. This is, uh, somebody wrote on here, but this is uh, from the Netherlands. This is Emotional Rescue. Yeah, this one has your song. What song is on here that's cold? Oh, uh, yeah, Emotional Rescue is cold. Mm. That's that. Then I got... This is from this is from the same. I guess it's the same guy's collection. That's he the put his name. Stone? Yeah, this is um, this is what you call it. Start me up. Well, did you start me up? That's this one. Oh. This is uh, tattoo you. And these are the two I got. These are from the eighties. This one's undercover. Undercover. And then dirty work. Dirty work. This was the Mick Jagger album. This is the Keith Richards album. You mean they wrote the ones that they wrote all the songs for? Yeah, they all did all of the work on them. And then this is Steel Wheels. This is 89. Oh, damn. Steel Wheels. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you, uh, when he was singing, when we saw him, in, when we saw the Stones in concert, he was singing, Keith Richards was singing. This was the one. I always see you sigh. He performed that when we saw them. And then we went to the 90s. Voodoo Lounge. I bought this at Reckless some years ago for 50 bucks. It's Damn. worth more than that now. It's five oh, wow. Bucks. This is the original. 
And then, no, not that one. It's this one first. Stripped. You see, I put the little tongue in there. Somebody had gave me this from, the store was closed. And this is actually a, actually an iron-on tongue. <laughs> but this is stripped. This is their live album. They did a cover of Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. I like this album a lot. Would you say that's one of your best albums? Uh, from their 90s stuff, I like. And then, I forgot. Before I got to, before I get to that, that Bridges of Babylon, this is the Totally Strip. This has a DVD of the live concert and extra stuff from this album. It's complete. These albums go together. They reissued. This came out. It's not a reissue. Is it the same this, album? This is different now. It's like everything live. This is actually live. This is mm. in Amsterdam and Holland. But it's a DVD in here. So these two go together. See? Mm -hmm. See how they look? They got on the same clothes. Yeah. And then the Bridges of Babylon. And, uh, yeah, this one was the hardest one to get. This was the one I've been looking for for a long time. This one took some years to get, so. Mm-hmm. So that's like the late 90s. And then it goes into the 2000s. And then there's this one, A Bigger Bang. This is an original. I bought this at a record show. This is the Which original. record show? Uh, the one in Hillside. See that one? Mm-hmm. That's a reissue? Mm-mm, it's original. Yeah, they're going to reissue some of these. But... And then this is their final album. This was their blues album they put out a couple of years ago. Blue and Lonesome. Is it a good album? Yeah, this was pressed in France. It's pretty good. It's one of the, one of the better ones from the, their later period. I like the album cover. It's blue, ain't it? With yeah. Nice. That's it. And then, of course, you know I got the singles. Got... So, what record? How? what record are you missing? What album are you missing? From the Stones, mm -hmm. Out of Our Heads. I'm missing Out of Our Heads, Flowers. Uh, yeah, from the studio stuff, because I collect all the studio stuff. So out of all your whole collection of the Stones, you're only missing two records? Two or three, yeah. Two That's, or three? Yeah, Out of Our Heads and, um, yeah, just Out of Our Heads and Flowers. Mm -hmm. I don't like the live stuff too much. Why? I don't know. You can't hear it really well versus the... Yeah, they're good, but I just like, I'd rather have the, uh, I don't know, the live stuff. Mm -hmm. The live stuff, I get those later, but I'd rather have the studio albums. I'm when did, do you remember when you brought your first Rolling Stone record? That I don't remember. You don't remember? No. <laughs> that's what's so funny about it. <laughs> so that's all. Yeah, tripped out on that one. Yeah, this is a reissue. This is 50th anniversary. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Mm. Would you go see the Stones again if they tour again? If I had, if I can afford it. <laughs> the tickets are too much. Yeah, I didn't even get you to my singles yet. You know, I got all these singles too. I got majority of their singles. Singles on. Vinyl? Yeah, 45s. I got a lot of that 45. You never even knew I had that, did you? No, I didn't. How many 45 singles do you I'll think you got? I'll show you. I'll bring them up. Damn, this shit is full. Let's let it lead up over here. It's 45 ground. Alrighty. Why, Mr. Carter, go get his 45s. Um... Of the Rolling Stones, just take a look at how long he's been collecting. He got a whole bunch of records here, and still collecting. And then, not to include all the other records he have in the other room. All right, he then pulled out the the box. How many think? How many forty fives you think you got in there? Over Other Rolling Stones. Not the oh, those Rolling Stones, but um, I never counted them. Let me see if I can start. Mm. Here they are. These are all my stones. Mm. Let's see if they got stuck. Yeah. They don't make 45s no more, right? They still make them. Hmm. Let me go. 
They're not in the order. Let me see if they're in the order. Yeah, they're not in the order, but she's a rainbow. Mm hmm. That's uh, Rolling Stones. You get off my cloud picture sleeve, Rolling Stones original. Street Fighter Man. This one is the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. Pressed in the Netherlands. Holland. Street Fighter Man. Honky Tonk Woman. This is U.S. Most of these are U.S. Honky Tonk Woman. Jumping Jack Flash. Oh, I remember that song. Jumping Jack Flash. How you sing it? How yeah. it go? And then one of my rares. This is probably my most valuable one out of all of mine. Is this one. That cover kind of looks like the Beatles. Like yeah. the way they did one of their covers on it. Yeah. This is I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Very expensive. I Can't Get No which was written, I believe, by Otis Redding, if I'm not mistaken. That's the he's the he wrote it though. That's the older Redding song. And then let's spend the night together. One I like a lot. Ruby Tuesday. Let's spend the night together. Lady Jane, Mother Helper. And this is the original first single that they released. This is an original from the UK. Oh, the spindle was broke off. They broke the thing in the inside, but still, it's still worth a lot of money. It's called. Uh, this one has "I Want to Be Your Man." Okay. Super clean. I bought that at Reckless a long time ago for like twenty bucks. Then I have "Painted Black." Stupid girl. And I do have a forty-five of Brown Sugar. I don't have a picture. Oh, sleeve. that's my favorite song. Brown sugar, and then Brown the other, sugar. the other side, side two song mm -hmm. is called "Bitch." Bitch. <laughs> Zip. Alrighty, and this is the conclusion of the Bell Rolling Stone collection.